It continues to be an evolving situation. We know that there were a number of tourists on or around the island at the time, both New Zealanders and visitors from overseas. I know there will be a huge uh, amount of concern and anxiety for those who have loved ones on or around the island at the time. Uh, and I can assure them police are doing everything uh, they can. Uh, firstly, we initially believed that there were 100 people uh, on or near the island. Uh, we now know that uh, there is fewer than 50. Uh, some of these uh, people have been transported to shore. However, there is a number still remaining on the island who are currently unaccounted for. I can confirm there is one fatality. And based on information we have, there's likely to be more. A number of injured people have been transported to Wakatani Hospital and Murawa Hospital. Emergency services are working to ensure the safety of everyone involved, including rescue staff. At this stage, it is too dangerous for police and rescue services to go to the island. However, we continue to assess the conditions which would allow us to go onto the island. The island is currently covered in ash and volcanic material. We are taking expert advice with regards to the safety of any rescue attempt. We will provide more details as they come to hand. Thank you. What I can say is there's been 23 um, taken from the island, uh, and we're unclear about uh, the numbers that are left uh, on the island. It's not a particularly big eruption, as, as said. It was kind of uh, almost like a throat clearing uh, kind of eruption, and uh, that's why material probably won't have made it to mainland New Zealand or won't make it to mainland New Zealand. It went up about uh, 12,000 metres into the sky. And so it, on the scheme of things, for volcanic eruptions, it's not large. But if you are close to that, it is, it is not good. <laughs> 